Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? Chris Evans is an American actor best known for his role in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He always tries to maintain his ideal image of Captain America in life and has earned the love of millions of fans and the respect of his colleagues. In this video, we'll talk about Chris's path to global fame and how he makes the most of it. Captain America – How Chris Evans Lives and Where He Spends His Millions Christopher Robert Evans was born on June 13, 1981 in Boston and grew up in nearby Sudbury. His father, Robert, worked as a dentist and his mother, Lisa, was a dancer and directed the Concord Youth Theater. Chris has two sisters, Carly and Shanna, and a brother, Scott. During his school years, the boy liked the humanities and did not like the exact sciences. He dreamed of becoming a discoverer, adored hiking and collecting manuals on survival in the wilderness, but he soon became interested in drawing. He was especially interested in working as an animator as little Chris was so impressed by Disney cartoons. As a child, he memorized all the songs from The Little Mermaid, and to this day, he never tires of confessing his love for the Disney world. Evan's mother taught her son to tap dance, and in the words of our star, he spent half his life in tights and shoes. Chris describes himself as an ugly duckling as a teenage boy, unkempt, thin as a stick, his teeth growing in different directions, and wearing clothes his mother had chosen. At the same time, he had a lot of energy, and his older sister Carly advised her brother to participate in theatrical productions of the local theater. After performing a couple of cameo roles and being inspired by Jack Nicholson's performance in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, the boy decided to devote his life to acting. After making this fateful decision, the guy shared it with his girlfriend, but she only laughed, which really hurt him. After that, Chris had another setback. At the school prom, he danced all night with a pretty girl named Jenny Hardington, and he did his best to please her. However, the very next day, she went back to her ex, breaking our hero's heart. Looking ahead, we can say that similar things happened to Chris even when he became famous. In interviews, he often complained to journalists about his bad luck and called himself a loser in love affairs. The young man's first appearance in the credits happened in 1997 in a short educational film called Biodiversity Wild About Life. In 1998, on vacation before his senior year in high school, Evans went to New York where he attended classes at the Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute and participated in television auditions. He decided to make contacts with representatives of the film industry and found the addresses of about 15 casting directors. Every day the guy talked to agents and noted who he could work with and with whom it was better not to do business. After graduating from high school in 1999, Chris moved to New York, settling into a small apartment in Brooklyn and tirelessly going to auditions. With most of them, the aspiring actor came out with the feeling that he would never be able to get any role. However, he still managed to successfully pass the auditions for the series Opposite Sex and The Fugitive, as well as the family drama The Newcomers. On the set of this film, the man met actress Kate Bosworth, with whom he began dating. The couple spent a year together and broke up without explanation. Evans' efforts to find an agent were not in vain, and a specialist advised the actor to move to Los Angeles. There, he settled in the Oakwood Apartments, where he met with other young actors with whom he constantly held parties with lots of alcohol. Chris does not blame himself for the mistakes of his turbulent youth, but he tries not to repeat them. In the early 2000s, the actor's filmography was expanded with the series Boston Public and Skin, the TV movie Eastwick, and the comedy melodrama Not Another Teen Movie. This film about teenagers was torn apart by critics but was loved by many viewers. In the same period, our star began a romantic relationship with Jessica Biel. They starred together in the detective thriller Cellular, which was released in 2004. Here's your charger. Thank you. The young people were together for five years, and Jessica told reporters about their joint plans for life to build a family and become parents. This did not happen, and as the actor later admitted, the reason for their separation was the young age and ambition of both. Evans has maintained a friendly relationship with his ex and even finds it funny that at some point Justin Timberlake, Beale's current husband, lived a couple of steps away from him. In general, our star doesn't tend to make drama out of breakups. Chris speaks respectfully about all his ex-girlfriends and they in turn assure him that he has a heart of gold and a wonderful character. 
In 2004, in addition to Cellular for the role in which Evans took a five-week course in the stuntman school, the heist film The Perfect Score premiered. His colleague on the set was Scarlett Johansson, and this was the beginning of their long-term friendship. Then Chris applied for the lead role in the romantic comedy Elizabethtown, but lost the competition to Orlando Bloom. However, he managed to star in the dramas London and Fierce People in 2005 and get a role in the superhero movie Fantastic Four. He plays Johnny Storm, who dominates the element of fire. Unfortunately, the doctors just couldn't do anything to fix your face. The actor received his first MTV nomination for his role in the film. In 2006, Evans injured his leg so he couldn't act for several months, but tried his hand at the voicing of two animated films, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Battle for Terra, which was released in 2007. Then the sequel, Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, was also released. The box office returns were lower than the first films, so the studio decided to cancel the production of the third part. In another 2007 film, the rom-com The Nanny Diaries, the actor again shown in the same frame with Scarlett Johansson. For the filming of one of the scenes in the sci-fi thriller Sunshine, he dove into icy water between takes in order to breathe steam out of his nose. That's why he also bared his teeth for real. Nevertheless, in spite of such extreme conditions, Chris calls it his career favorite movie. We have a payload to deliver to the heart of our nearest star. We're delivering that payload because that star is dying, and if it dies, we die. Everything dies. The media at the time wrote about Evans' affair with Christina Ricci. They appeared together at the Met Gala Ball but broke up about six months later, and his relationship with actress Minka Kelly turned out to be short-lived as the lovers were on and off. Tabloid suggested that Minka wanted to get married, but Chris was not planning for that, and because of this, there were many conflicts. Meanwhile, our star's filmography was enriched by Street Kings, The Loss of a Teardrop Diamond, The Losers, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and Push. What is that? We die. <sighs> Great. During filming of the latter, Chris proved himself to be a gentleman by disagreeing with a scene where his character gropes Camilla Bell's character during a kiss. He refused to touch his colleague at all until she made it clear that she was fine with it. In addition, the actor himself performed all the fight scenes, although he received painful bruises in the process. In 2010, Evans was offered to play Captain America in the new Marvel superhero movie without even having to audition. However, our hero turned it down three times. He was intimidated by the duration of the contract for nine films and the intense media scrutiny that awaited all the actors who appeared in the films of the studio. Chris was also afraid of playing such a flawless character because Steve Rogers has no hint of negative qualities. Eventually, however, he agreed and now calls it one of the best decisions he's ever made. Our star appeared in his new image in 2011 in the film Captain America The First Avenger. How many of you are ready to help me sock old Adolf on the job? Okay. Preparing for the shooting, he tortured himself in the gym for four months. Intense training was supplemented by a special diet, thanks to which Chris gained over 22 pounds of muscle mass. He admits that although he loves to work his guts out, it drove him crazy and made him hate his trainer and the movie and wanted to just sleep for a week. Filming was also difficult with Evans losing 7 to 9 pounds of weight in one day from sweat. The result of his pains was appreciated not only by the many viewers, but also by his partner, Haley Atwell, who played Agent Carter. She was so stunned by the physique of her colleague that she almost walked out to the scene in the middle of the take. He received a Saturn Award nomination for the role. Incidentally, the actor's fee was quite modest, only $300,000. After the premiere, world fame descended on Chris. It was strange for him to see his face on the most ordinary objects, such as lunchboxes and pajamas. His mother, on the other hand, happily began collecting such things and turned the attic into a kind of Captain America memorabilia museum. Also in 2011, the films Puncture and What's Your Number were released, and in 2012, the thriller The Iceman and a sequel to The Avengers superhero series premiered. This time, Evans' fee was $2 million. Amusingly, the battle cry, Avengers Assemble, was never uttered in the film, but Chris used it in direct messages to the cast for a weekend gathering. When the cast was invited to shoot additional scenes, our star had to wear a special overlay to hide his beard. He grew it for his next film called Snowpiercer, and since Captain America had to be clean-shaven, the actor was forced to partially cover his face with his hands. 
Evans received an MTV award for his role in the Best Fight category. In fact, the man almost did not get the role in the sci-fi action movie Snowpiercer because of the massive muscles of Steve Rogers. The main character was to be born in extreme poverty, so the director had doubts about whether to get Chris to work on the film. However, thanks to costumes and other tricks, the creators managed to hide the physical shape of Evans. From here right to the front of the train, everything in one stroke. We control the engine, we control the world. Without that, we have nothing. In 2013, the actor appeared in his stellar role in a movie about Thor, and a little earlier he decided to give another chance to his relationship with Minka Kelly. However, even this time, they could not last together longer than a year. The couple was once again seen together a few years later, but it was most likely just a friendly reunion. The media also attributed the actor's affair with Diana Agra, known for her role in the TV series Glee, star of Twilight Ashley Green, Elizabeth Olsen, Lily Collins, and even Sandra Bullock, because Chris once admitted that she was his dream girl in high school. However, Bullock only ironically joked that they have already managed to get married and divorced, so asked journalists to respect their privacy. Evans was also brought up with Scarlett Johansson, but she made it clear that they were just friends. Incidentally, their friendly relationship helps in their work. In the 2014 film Captain America The Winter Soldier, he and Scarlett wrote most of the dialogues of their characters. Evans was nominated for an MTV and a Saturn Award for his role and received a fee of $3.2 million. That same year, he presented his directorial debut, Before We Go, where he also played the lead male role. Did I mention that you were charming? You phrased it differently. Who was that? Biggest loser in New York? <laughs> His character is a street musician, and Chris wanted to really play the trumpet in this film. However, the learning process proved so difficult that he resigned himself to learning only finger movements on the instrument. The romantic comedy Playing It Cool followed, and in 2015, the next part of the superhero franchise Avengers Age of Ultron premiered, for which Evans received $6.9 million and a nomination for an MTV Channel Award. Interestingly, in the film, Chris had the most screen time of all the main characters at just over 50 minutes. Soon, the actor as Steve Rogers appeared in the Ant-Man film and then shown again in the lead role in Captain America Civil War. Can I tell you what we're up against? Something about some psycho assassins? We're outside the law on this one. So if you come with us, you're a wanted man. Yeah, well, what else is new? Before filming, he further trained in the gym to bring to life a scene where the captain holds the helicopter with his bare hands to prevent it from taking off. Contrary to rumors, tense muscle relief wasn't CGI, it was real. Evans received a Saturn Award nomination and a $15 million salary for Civil War, while topping a list of stars who are more than worth their royalties. Forbes estimated that for every dollar that goes into the celebrity's pocket, studios get $181.80. In 2017, viewers saw Chris as the guardian of an unusually capable girl in the drama Gifted. Do I look gifted to you? It's kind of gone out of vogue since the invention of the calculator, but uh, you can still win a drink at a bar using it. After reading the script, the actor immediately accepted the role and critics received his work with praise. There is a scene at the animal shelter where Evans finds his best friend, the dog Dodger. The man loves the dog and jokes that his most stable relationship is only with this dog. During the same filming, the actor struck up a romantic relationship with actress Jenny Slate. She called Chris her dream guy and appeared with him at social events, but the affair lasted about a year. The lovers first decided to take a break because of a mismatch of work schedules and then parted on a friendly note. Also in 2017, Chris appeared in the film Spider-Man Homecoming, and a year later he appeared in the long-awaited sequel Avengers Infinity War. The actor once again received $15 million for his work, as he did for the next film Avengers Endgame, which came out in 2019 and for which he was also nominated for a Saturn Award. I can do this all day. Yeah, I know. I know. Interestingly, only Chris Evans and Robert Downey Jr. were trusted to read the full script. Shortly before The Final Avengers, our guy could be seen in the Captain Marvel movie. Saying goodbye to the role of Steve Rogers, Chris starred in the historical drama The Red Sea Diving Resort. Soon, his filmography included the eccentric crime thrillers Knives Out, for which he received a nomination for the Saturn Award and which was filmed near the actor's hometown of Boston. Fact. Oh my God. Eat shit. No, no, How's that? Do not use that word in front of my son. Eat shit. Don't laugh that smug smile. Definitely eat shit. Eat shit. You can all eat shit.
Chris would visit his hometown every night, where his favorite slippers and delicious food always awaited him, and spent weekends with his family. In 2020, the miniseries Defending Jacob was released, where Evans played the leading role. At the same time, he unexpectedly hit a social media trend. The celebrity posted a video in his stories where his gallery of media files flashed and among them was a racy photo. Such an embarrassment amused users and launched a wave of sharp jokes and memes. Our star decided to take advantage of the situation and wrote a few days later, now that I've got your attention, to vote on November 3rd, referring to the US presidential election. In fact, Chris is always active in civic affairs and has even co-founded A Starting Point, which is a political website and app that gives politicians of all parties the opportunity to speak on any topic and users can form their own opinions after listening to all points of view. Its goal is to draw attention to current issues and to involve young citizens in politics. During the same period, the media suspected the actor of having an affair with Lily James. Both stars refrained from commenting and soon Lily switched to another love interest and Chris began to be attributed a relationship with Selena Gomez. His real relationship, however, began with Portuguese actress Alba Baptista. The lovers are still together, as evidenced by the romantic videos that the man published this year on Valentine's Day. He even started talking about being ready for family life and children. In 2021, the celebrity appeared in the dark comedy Don't Look Up and the comedy action film Free Guy. It is funny, but Ryan Reynolds invited Chris to act in the latter by a text message having learned that he was nearby on another shooting. Our star only spent about seven minutes on the set. In 2022, Evans voiced the cartoon Lightyear and starred in the spy action film The Gray Man. I am your only prayer at getting that drive back, because I can do everything the agency can't. You know all those rules you guys are always trying to work your way around? They don't mean dick. This year, the action film Red One and the crime drama Pain Hustlers are scheduled to premiere and the romantic action film Ghosted was recently released. Because of the huge demand, the actor had to turn down interesting proposals. He could not star in the movie Project Artemis, which was produced by Scarlett Johansson. However, if he is called to play any character of Star Wars, he is ready to find time even in the tightest working schedule. Chris also makes time for psychotherapy to keep himself and his characters relevant and separate and to remove inner clamps before going on set. He likes to read self-help books and studies the philosophy of Buddhism. In the mid-2000s, the actor even spent three weeks in a Buddhist retreat. Evans carefully monitors what he eats and drinks, leaving drunken parties in the past. The actor's hobbies include tattoos, and he has several drawings on his body, including the initials of his brother and sisters. As a matter of fact, Chris's brother is openly gay, and our star advocates for the queer community. He is also one of the most famous pro-feminists in Hollywood, as the ideas of equality were passed down to him by his mother. The celebrity devotes a lot of time to charity. For many years, he has been supporting an organization that helps children with cancer. Chris has also financed charity projects of fellow actor Robert Downey Jr. and supports the breast cancer treatment program. Evans' fortune is estimated at $110 million, earned mostly from Marvel movies. He has also had numerous advertising contracts in his career with the perfume division of Gucci, the smartphone brand Techno, the high-end chocolate manufacturer Godiva, and various lactose-free milk and scotch whiskey brands. He also worked with a Philippine telecommunications company and premium dog food manufacturer Jinx. Despite his multi-million dollar fees, our star doesn't like to waste money. He didn't even change his sixth iPhone for seven years until it finally died in 2022. Chris mostly lives in his home state of Massachusetts. He reportedly has a home in Concord, and during his period of self-isolation, he lived with his family in Sudbury. In 2013, the actor bought a $3.52 million house in Beverly Hills. The three-bedroom property is enclosed by dense plant life, but the courtyard with a swimming pool offers stunning views of the city and the San Fernando Valley. Built in 1940, the home has been modernized and is now finished in laconic colors, where white walls and soft furnishings contrast with dark floors and wood beams. Evan previously owned a home in the Hollywood Hills, which he purchased in 2007 for $1.26 million and put up for sale in 2014 for $1.4 million. The mansion has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a kitchen, dining room, living room, and a gorgeous terrace outside the house. Chris appreciates practicality in cars. He has been seen driving a Lexus ES350 business sedan, Chevrolet Suburban, and Jeep Grand Cherokee SUVs, a Tesla Model S electric car, and an Audi Q7 crossover. Some sources also write about three more Audi models, A6, A8, and R8, and actor Robert Downey Jr. gave our star a 1967 Chevrolet Camaro. Last year, People magazine recognized the performer of the role of Captain America as the most handsome man in the world. It seems that his mother, who can now boast of her son's new title, is the happiest of all. He said that in the morning he does not look as attractive as on the silver screen. By the way, Chris himself also has a lot of complaints about his own acting. It seems to him that professionally, he is not as good as he once to be at. 
What about you? Do you like Chris Evans? If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.